Alabama has a chance to not only have the number one pick in the NFL draft if Bryce Young goes number one, but also on the basketball side with the things that Brandon Miller has been doing in Alabama basketball. Their next game is Saturday against Missouri. Very tough place to play, but Alabama 16 and two overall, six and zero in conference play, seven game winning streak, nine and zero um, at home, five and zero on the way, two and two in neutral court settings. Um, I mean, Bryce Young, Brandon Miller. I mean, talk about the brand that that adds for Alabama overall. But do you think it's realistic? Let's start with Bryce. Do you think he's going to be the number one pick? Uh, there could be some trades made. I know we're a long way from the NFL draft, but it's fun to talk about. And then on the basketball side, what you've seen from Brandon Miller in this basketball team, because um, it's really, really incredible. I've never seen it happen in Tuscaloosa. And to kind of get a taste of it is is very, very exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very cool to be able to say that because – especially coming from a program or, or excuse me, I guess a school like Alabama where the, the number one overall pick in football that doesn't, you know, that there's been plenty of first round picks under Nick Saban. There has not been a number one overall pick. And so that even having that possibility uh, is big on that front. But then you bring in the basketball aspect and, and Alabama has been known a lot more as being a football school and you've got Brandon Miller, uh, you know, that's pretty special as well. And with with Bryce Young, he should be the number one overall pick. You know, that's that's not me covering him and, and me being biased in any sort of way. I think he is the best quarterback in this draft. I, th I understand from a tools perspective, Will Levis, there's a lot to like. There's a lot to like about Anthony Richardson, uh, you know, but at the same time, um, you know, you're hoping for for Josh Allen you know, with Will Levis. You're hoping that, you know, just the arm strength and the mobility and the size and all that stuff just comes together perfectly. You've got to have the right system in place, the right guys in place to be able to develop that talent. And in, in, in the NFL, you very rarely get the Josh Allens of the world. Those are reasons he was like, what, the fourth or fifth quarterback taken in that draft? And it was because, you know, at his best at Wyoming, I watched him a lot. You know, a very Aaron Rodgers-esque as far as his throwing ability on the move, mm -hmm. and which would pinpoint accuracy and things like that. But at the same time, for every Josh Allen that has been developed, there's been 10, you know, failures on, on trying to get the max out of that raw, you know, tools quarterback. I understand there's size limitations and there's concerns on that front, but I think Bryce Young, outside of the fluky injury that happened with his shoulder, he's yeah. done a very good job of protecting himself and, and keeping himself healthy despite his, his lack of size. He knows when to run the football. He knows when to slide, when to get out of bounds, when to throw it away for the most part. And, you know, I think he's going to end up being a, a heck of a quarterback for somebody and just the locker room factor that he brings as well. Everything that you would want from a mentality standpoint, and having the right mindset and the right approach. Uh, and then Brandon Miller, you know, is certainly bringing that edge. I mean, Bryce Young is in his third season, right? Brandon Miller <laughs> was playing high school basketball last year. Like the, what he's able to do right now is just simply incredible. You know, and it's been a lot of fun to watch. Here with Clint Lamb of Bama Insider. Um, definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We just, you know, I wanted to pitch that to you because it's really incredible to see, you know, Alabama with that opportunity. I think the stat that stands out to me is that Alabama has never had a number one pick under Nick Saban, which is really crazy to think about. You, we threw that number out, 1.9 billion, but still not the number one pick. I mean, it would be amazing to see Bryce Young go number one. I think we would all um, certainly uh, enjoy watching that. And then Brandon Miller, of course, the things that he's done is just really, really incredible. Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out our other related content right here on Bama Insider. Be sure and like and subscribe, inching closer to 100,000 subscribers right here on Bama Insider.